and I'm here today at the 2016 Canadian Science Policy Conference with Dr. Yuriko Nunga from yes. Agostino University in, uh, in Angola. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. So to start off, why don't you tell us a little bit about your, your work and your research? Well, I'm, um, I'm a professor uh, at the University of Met in Angola, in Luanda, where I hold a position um, in the social science uh, faculty, you know, uh, working with uh, development, regional development for Angola and for sub-Saharan Africa. So I have been working on um, science, technology, innovation to boost the, the economy and uh, the social situation for the uh, Angolan country. So this is overall my, uh, my work. So, and also I have been working with some um, other universities, some other institutions across the world in order to, to construct a bridge uh, to, uh, to have some development, you know, to, for Angola and Sub-Saharan Africa. So it's uh, maybe my, my overall my uh, field of work. But of course, we have some other uh, challenges, uh, you know, for the country, for Sub-Saharan Africa, in order to overcome the situation that we are living currently in, currently in, in Africa and, and more especially in Angola. So what do you think are some of the, the, the largest challenges uh, in, the, in the face of development and what can we do to overcome those challenges? Well, it, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough. So we have big challenges in the country, of course, in Africa overall. But the, the, the challenge, first of all, is to get uh, the high-level technicians, high-level scholars, high-level scientists and, and high-level politicians. I mean, that, uh, in order to have these kind of people, you know, get together and build a, a different pathway uh, for, the, for Africa and especially for, for, for the country. That's why I'm here in Canada uh, for a couple of months working with uh, universities and cult university where I, I'm linked and some scholars, uh, politicians, you know, uh, giving some lectures and some classes in order to put in mind of the Canadian people, Canadian politicians, to uh, work with us, you know, you know, in order to overcome this situation. Of course, it's a big, big, it's a big deal, it's a big challenge. But I believe that uh, working first with the scholars, with technicians who understand perfectly the way of overcome this situation, you know, I, I mean, methodologically, I think this is the, 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 the best way to uh, change this landscape you know, uh, in, in, in Angola, in overall in Africa. So, so w w what do you think are some of the, the, the primary benefits, both to Angola and Canada, uh, by facilitating linkages like this? Well, a lot of benefits, you know, it's a lot of benefits. Because, you know, Angola, uh, Canada is a very well developed country, which is uh, part of the OECD countries. So, Canada has a lot of things, a lot of opportunities to offer us, you know, to offer to Angola in Africa overall. So, uh, if we uh, agree in working together just to emulate some of the wonderful deeds from Canada, I believe that we are going to have very good and successful uh, challenges, developments in every field in the country, especially in economic and social uh, field. Uh, but I believe uh, that the, we need to first um, begin for, from the education. That's, that, that's, that's what I, I believe. This is the most point that we need to overcome in Angola first, uh, especially because we had a, a long history of civil war that plagued the country, and also we uh, we need the, you know a lot of uh, scholars, educated people, very well trained in order to understand what we have done, what we have seen in Canada in order to emulate this, you know, in order to get this to our uh, society, to our uh, um, context, 
And I believe that do in doing so, of course, we are going to uh, have a lot of benefits from Canada. Um, of course, we're going we're gonna to put the country and the pathway of the development. That's what I believe. So that's why I am here in Canada. Uh, of course, it's not, it's not easy. Not easy, of course. Uh, but I believe that what I have done here in Canada during this time, um, I'm, con I'm connected to Canada for three years, so uh, I've been, I have done a lot of progress in this field, in, in this cooperation that we need with uh, Angola, and of course we have uh, all, uh, also uh, technicians, politicians that are very well interested in working together, interested in going there, and talking to people and meeting people and try to uh, build a different, um, I can say, a different way, a different mindset to, uh, to, to overcome our situation which are facing currently in the country. Fantastic. Yep. Well, Dr. Ngugi, it's been an absolute pleasure having you uh, uh, on, our, on our, uh, our interview booth. So thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you have a fantastic Canadian Science Policy Conference. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you for having me.